Hello again, this is Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support and today I'm going to demonstrate how to set up Photoshop Elements 11 on the Mac for ICC profiles to run with your Ricoh printers for dye sublimation or your Epson printers for dye sublimation. I have uh, here a trial version just for this tutorial but I wanted to let you see what comes up when you open the uh, Elements 11. You can purchase the Elements 11 through Condi. You can also purchase it online or likely. You can also get it at Walmart or any other um, store that would sell software like Best Buy or something like that. So again, get with your account manager if it's something you would like to purchase here. So what I'm going to do is walk you through setting up your ICC profile in this program with the Mac. It does look a little different than the earlier versions. Uh, as far as the layout, however, the setup is pretty similar. When you open Elements, you're going to see Organizer and Photo, photo Editor. Just click Photo Editor. That's going to open your application. Organizer is for uh, specifically organizing your photos, like a photo album. I'm going to say Continue Trial. Uh, you, If you've purchased your copy, you won't have that. If you do want to get a trial version, you can also download it from online and uh, get a 30-day trial just to see if it's something you're interested in. So when you open the Photoshop 11, this is what you see. Uh, so in order to get to the color settings, you, you've got to get something on the page. So let's just go to File, New, or Open. Let's just open something. Um, and we're going to open... Grab something here. Anything would work. Just need to get something on the page so we can uh, get to our print menu. So I've just placed anything from my uh, files on the page. Uh, this is uh, something that uh, needs to be placed on there in order to for the print settings to come up. So make sure you can draw something on the page. You can just place anything on the page. So what I'm going to do now is just get to the color settings. I'm going to go to File. Actually, I'm going to Edit. And here's color settings here. And with Elements 11, you're going to see... Um, these options in here you want to select the always optimized for printing that's the one you want and then click OK so if the radio button is not selected by that uh, always optimized for printing make sure that you just click on it and it'll select it click OK now go to file and we're going to print we're not really going to print uh, not for this demonstration we're going to select a printer we're going to choose the gel sprinter GX7700. This will work. The same settings will work for your 33, your 3110, uh, your Epson printers as well. All of the sublimation printers, the setting in the application is exactly the same with the exception of the ICC profile, which is emailed to you by our support staff and placed in the application profile is determined by your printer so per printer is a profile a unique profile for that printer so with the 7700 you would have a unique profile that would be installed uh, and sent to you only by email from our support staff so I'm going to go ahead and continue on first I want to select my printer which I've done I'm going to choose my paper size this is fine for now you want to select your print size. Uh, this could be custom, whatever it is that you want. Make sure that it uh, correlates with what your what size your image is. And then we're going to go to more options. From here, under print printing choices, you're going to mirror your image if you're sublimating to something where you have to actually flip your transfer over, and not sublimating to the back of something like glass, you wouldn't mirror. So I'm going to choose Flip. I'm going to go to Color Management. Color Handling is Photoshop Manages Color. My printer profile, I'm going to drop down. I've already have, have it selected. It's going to, again, it's going to correlate with what 
sublimation printer I have. This is the GX7700 die trans high quality. If it's a 3110, it's going to say uh, 30 SG3110. If it's uh, a 3300, it's going to say GX3300. So again, make sure you have the correct profile. I'm going to select the 7700. The rendering intent is perceptual. And I'm going to click OK. Once that's set up, in these settings here, I can choose to print to save my settings, or um, I can come back and verify that the settings are correct later and then print. So again, this is how you set up Photoshop Elements 11 for dye sublimation with your Rico printers, your Epson printers, with the ICC profile in the application. If you have any questions, be sure to give us a call here at Condi. Anyone on our support staff can help you with these questions. My name is Vicki, and as always, thank you for your time.